Hello everyone, welcome back to your brand new video. Now I just got this great idea, okay? Have you ever wanted to play an obby forever? Basically, I want to make an obby generator, okay? As you can see, I just opened up the default Roblox obby, right? But um, if you don't know what an obby is, you know, it's pretty simple. You just kind of jump to the end. And it gets kind of harder, as you can see, the jumps move around. And then I'm not sure what this is. Well, that, that moves you to the side, I guess. And then as you can see here, this is like a little kill part. If you touch it, it kills you. And you know, you get the point. Now what I want to do is actually make a script that generates obbies from scratch, okay? So I could literally have like a thousand levels and there's a click of a button, you know what I mean? That way, if people were to play it again, they'd have an infinite amount of levels, they'd never be able to get bored of it, you know what I mean? It, it would just be great. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do in today's video, okay? <laughs> I'm really not sure how this is gonna turn out, but I'm kind of excited to see how it does. You'll be able to play it at the end of the video if you want to, the link will be in the description below. But anyways, let's get started with the challenge. All right, so first things first, I need to actually create a few little levels that I can, you know, put in or whatever. Um, so let me go ahead and do that right now. All right, so I just made about 10 different levels. As you can see, we have some kill levels, we have some little balls, <laughs> we have like, you know, pretty easy levels, and then, you know, some are get a little bit harder, I guess. I don't know, but basically, these are gonna be the, like the base levels, and then we'll be able to like change the colors for them, you know what I mean? So they're like randomized, and then, uh, you know, put them in different orders and stuff like that. So now we actually have to go ahead and start scripting. What I'm gonna do is move all of these into the storage, and then we can um, access them from there. Anyways, I'm really excited to see how this turns out, though. Let's go ahead and start scripting. All right, so I started scripting, and as you can see, we defined a few variables like replicated storage. Okay, we got the levels, the folder, and we made a max levels variable, which is going to be 30. Okay, and now one issue we ran into though is that we need to actually move the thing, you know, and we need to actually move the whole model to the end of the thing. Now, as you can see, if I hit run, I did get that working. Anyways, as you can see, if I hit run, we got that working sort of. But we need to actually set a primary part for each model, okay? Basically meaning we need to have like a place where it can move to. I'm not really too sure how to explain it, but as you can see, I added this little thing right here called the start and then the finish right here, okay? So now I actually have to go through and do this for each one, which kind of is kind of annoying, but whatever, it shouldn't take that long. All right, so I just finished adding the last one right here, as you can see. And all we're going to do when we actually make these uh, generate is we're going to just make these invisible so you don't see them because they look kind of weird. But that should make it'll be a lot easier to actually like put them on the end of the... Um, you know, generate them on the end of the levels. So that should be pretty cool. I got the last one done right now, and now we actually can go ahead and start generating them. All right, so as you can see, we have the start plate right here, right? And basically, we're gonna have the start plate where you spawn on or whatever, and then you're gonna generate the first level, or actually not the first level, but any level, really, it doesn't matter. And then we're going to put a checkpoint, which is this little thing right here. Nothing really too crazy, it's the same thing. <laughs> um, I'll maybe make that a little bit smaller, but um, I might make that an actual checkpoint, I'm not sure yet. But uh, that'll just be like a sort of like a little barrier first, and then basically um, we'll make the next level after that, and then after that we'll put another we'll put another checkpoint, and then again and again and again, all the way until we use each level, okay? And now once we use each level, we can we can do the level again and again and again, um, and also what we're gonna do is generate the we're gonna make the colors different, okay? So like for example, you see this like level one right here. What we can do is make like each color like random, so that way it'll let, okay, add a little bit more variety to the obbies and stuff like that. Um, so it's not the same thing. So yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I'm excited to see how this works. All right, so I've gotten basically the first level generated, right? As you can see, we have all the levels here in replicated storage, right? And basically the script says, okay, pick a random level out of here, and it picks it, and then it sets the primary part, which basically helps it move, and then we set the parent to workspace, right, right here, as so we can actually see it in the workspace. And then we set those little parts I made earlier to invisible, that way you don't have to see them. And then basically we do some math to find out where we should put it, right? And then um, we actually clone the checkpoint after, put it on the end of it, and then add one to the name, that way we know it's there. Now as you can see, we hit play, it generates fine, right? As you can see, there's not a little thing there, okay, the level's right here. Um, it's probably pretty easy, but <laughs> we can always change that later. But as you can see, it does generate the level and it does put the checkpoint at the end right here, okay? So that works good. Now it's time to actually see if it generates the whole thing. Now it should. I'm not sure though, but um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to go and change the max levels right now to 15 or something like that and see if it works. Here we go with that, guys. Let's see if it works in 3, 2, 1, and let's go. Oh my. Okay, so <laughs> we have a little bit of issues here, as you can see. I'm not really too sure what happened, but uh, we're going to figure it out here in a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm figuring it out. We're getting closer. Okay, so we've successfully just generated two levels. I'm pretty sure if I actually change it right now, it should generate them all. I'm excited to see if this works, guys. It's taken me about 30 minutes to do this, actually maybe 45. But uh, here we go, guys. Here, yeah, let's see. All right, here we go. So max levels. Let's do 15. And okay, here we go, guys. Moment of truth. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Run. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. We have another issue here, as you can see. 
Um, okay, so I just changed one thing. Basically, I just cloned it because I forgot to actually clone a level. I just took it right out of there, so that's probably why the folder was empty. So anyways, I'm, let's go ahead and see if it works, guys. 15 levels. Let's go. Moment of truth. I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Run. And... Oh my, I think it works. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, as you can see, we have each level right here. Everything just kind of goes on and on and on. And wow, that's literally it. That's literally the whole game. I can make a thousand levels right now. You know what? We're going to try it. We're, we're going to try it. Actually, wait, I'm going to wait for that, okay? I, I want to make a thousand levels. I know it's probably going to crash my Roblox game, but who cares? Um, but <laughs> let me actually save the game first so I don't actually lose all this stuff. <laughs> and um, also, I actually want to make it sort of like the the parts change colors or whatever, right? So let me go and actually try to see if I can code that right now, um, and then we'll do the thousand levels thing. All right, so I just added a little bit of code. I'm pretty sure it actually should be able to um, make it the colors random. Let's go and see if it works. Oh, okay, that didn't work. <laughs> um, okay, so, okay, slight issue. That makes sense, though. And there we go, boys. Oh, my God, this is so cool. Okay, as you can see, it literally has random le random colors now. Literally, this actually looks like it actually could be unique. You know what I mean? It looks like it actually could be, like, a bunch of different levels. Oh, uh... <laughs> Wait, one issue though. So this is like a kill part, right? And uh, as you can see, the kill part, um, it has random colors, which is pretty odd looking. But it's a pretty simple fix. I could fix that really easily if I wanted to. But honestly, I kind of like it actually. Like th this part's fine, but this one, yeah, you kind of, you kind of need to actually know. All right, and there we go. As you can see, it works just fine. Everything is fixed. Oh. Okay, well, it still looks kind of weird because it could get red, but that's fine. It looks good. Anyways, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and play the obby now, right? We want to actually play our game, so let's see if let's see if it, let's see if it's fun. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, and then it's gonna spawn us in, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get some sick obby gameplay, okay? All right, so as you can see, we're in the game, and uh, you know now we just do the obby, okay? <laughs> And as you can see, it works just fine. This is actually so cool. Now, obviously, it is kind of weird how it, um, oh, I just, I just, wait, let me delete the base plate. What am I doing? All right, anyways, now, obviously, it is pretty weird how, like, the obby just kind of goes straight forever, but we could change that, you know what I mean? Oh, we forgot to anchor that part. <laughs> All right, and like I said, it's kind of weird how the obby just kind of goes straight forever, but I mean, also, it's, it's kind of cool, actually. Like, look, look, you just kind of look all the way down there. It's just like, geez, when does it end? So it's kind of cool, but also it is kind of weird, like I said. So um, we might want to actually change it to actually like turns or whatever. But I mean, for now, you know, it works fine too. Literally everything works. This is so awesome. So yeah, but for now I guess it's fine. You know, maybe we can do like an updated version eventually. But honestly, I kind of like it. Now, obviously, if I were to actually make this game like a real game, I'd probably add some like skip levels or something like that. Maybe I'd add it so you can like buy admin command or something. Um, but I could do a lot of stuff for this game. You know what I mean? If I wanted to. But um, this is just a point just to prove that honestly, guys. As you can see here, literally anything is possible scripting. I know this isn't that crazy of an idea at all, what am I saying? But, you know what I mean? It's really not as hard as you think it is, right? That's only took me like an hour, uh, which honestly is kind of long. Um, <laughs> it really should took me. That, it really shouldn't have took me that long, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, but as you can see, it works just fine. You get some of the same levels, but I want to change that, I could. Pretty simple fix as well. Um, but, obviously, you know, this is like the basis for it. And then you can tweak whenever you want. But it, it is pretty cool. You know, I'm glad I did this. It, it's kind of it's kind of fun to play with. And honestly, if I wanted to make it, if I wanted to play forever, you know what I mean? Now I could. So actually, right, what I'm going to do right now is actually, I'm going to go ahead and actually put the obby uh, max levels to a thousand. And honestly, my script's probably going to break. I'm going to go ahead and publish the game first before I do that. Because I don't want to lose any of this stuff. But uh, I'm excited to see what happens. Okay, we're, we're going to do that in a second here, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and make the game called Infinite Obby. <laughs> Uh, literally doesn't end, <laughs> and then we're gonna go ahead and create, um, and yep, we're good, alright, perfect, alright, now let's go ahead and make our max levels to a thousand, here we go guys, I really hope it's another break, I'm probably gonna crash, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but here we go guys, moment of truth, I'm actually not gonna hit play, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it so we can watch it happen, but here we go in three, two, one, and, oh my gosh, okay, Oh my gosh, look how many levels there are, look at this, this is insane, oh my gosh, dude, dude, that's actually crazy, it literally, I literally doesn't end, like, it's actually infinite, it literally doesn't end, holy crap, Ho I, dude, I, I can't even get all the way down, I'm still scrolling, I'm still scrolling, Oh my gosh, this is insanely cool. Okay, well, anyways, guys, that shows you right there the power of scripting, okay? If you want to learn how to script, I have a scripting series, okay? It's linked in the description below, so go watch that if you're interested. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, like always, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Roblox game development videos just like this one. Also, use code TAP when you buy Robux. It helps me out a lot. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, yeah, that's insane. Let me know if you have any more ideas in the below in the comments section, and I'll be sure to check them out.